Right, balance the uh, chemical equations for each of the following. Uh, so A, the formation of sodium oxide from its elements. So let's start with sodium oxide. So sodium is in group one, so one plus. Oxygen is in group six, so two minus. So the formula is that. And then, uh, so I'm gonna need sodium and uh, oxygen. So um, I need two sodiums in here and then half an oxygen there. So you, you can have double all of that. So you can have four, one, and two. That will be fine as well. Part B, the reaction of sodium hydrogen carbonate with sulfuric acid. So sodium is one plus, hydrogen is one plus, carbonate is two minus. Or actually, sorry, sodium is one plus, hydrogen carbonate is one minus. So we have that. With sulfuric acid, you just have to know this. So that gives me a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. The salt is going to be sodium sulfate. So sulfate is two minus, so I need a two uh, in there. When I balance these using macho, so I need two sodiums, sulfurs balance, uh, carbons, they don't balance yet, but they balance now. And then the hydrogens, so I need two waters. And then the oxygens, they all balance. Okay, part C, the burning of aluminium in air to form aluminium oxide. So aluminium oxide, so aluminium is in group three, oxygen is in group six. So three plus and two minus, which means it's two and three. And then, so aluminium using the oxygen in air so I need two aluminiums and one and a half oxygens, or I could have four aluminiums, three oxygens, and two aluminium oxides. Give the formula of the acid used to make the following. So I've got, there's one of the ones that we need to know. So that's phosphate, which is three minus, which means I would need three hydrogens on there. This one is unfamiliar, but... Um, if K is one plus, then NO2 is one minus, so I'd need one hydrogen on there. And then state what is meant by a base. Well, a base is the um, opposite of an acid. So an ac acid is a proton donor. So a base is a proton or a hydrogen ion acceptor. And then the first ionization energy, remembering everything's gotta be linked to the mole. So it's the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of atoms. And remember, they need to be in the gaseous state.